Welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. In this series, we are going to learn about growing mushrooms. Mushrooms can be cultivated hydroponically as fungi. They are grown using a soilless substrate and with water. I learned that one of the easiest mushrooms to grow at home is the oyster mushroom. Oyster mushrooms are light gray or grayish brown or yellow and even pink. So as a beginner, I decided to purchase mushroom growing kits to make it easy to learn how to grow them in your own home. These growing kits for white oyster mushrooms are about 35 pesos to 100 pesos online. And they come in what I call logs. The color pink and yellow oyster mushroom kits, however, are more expensive than the white oysters. So these logs are probably composed of sawdust and or straw substrates. The white things you see here are called mycelium, which is like fungus bacterial colony. Anyway, these growing kits have done most of the work for us because the mycelium are ready for watering and as they grow, they create fruiting bodies, which we know as mushrooms. The common instructions of most of these growing kits requires you to slice areas around the log to expose the mycelium to air and hydrate them with water. Afterwards, some instructions say to dunk the whole log on water overnight, while others say to spray the log area using a water bottle on a daily basis. This is because mushrooms love a humid and cool environment. Since I decided to use the spray bottle on a daily basis, I placed the logs in an area of my kitchen and living room. And because I would be spraying the logs daily, I also decided to make a house for the logs so that I don't get my floor and wall area wet. I have here a clear plastic container. Now, I'm going to use this plastic box on its side. So I placed holes on the sides and on the back using a soldering iron. I also use clean food trays as a bottom tray of the logs. Then I placed paper or cloth towels around the logs to capture any fallen droplets of water. These moist towels create that cool, humid environment that mushrooms need. Every day, morning and evening, I spray the area around the logs. I did this for a couple of days. Eventually, after about 10 days, I saw pins appearing on some of the logs. The pins eventually grew into stems and small caps. And in about two to three days, you get the mushrooms. Harvest the oyster mushrooms when you see the caps turn upwards. Just twist it and make sure you get the old base so that the newer mushrooms can come out. You can get about two to three more flushes of harvest over the next few weeks. So there you have it. Mushrooms, mushrooms, and mushrooms. If you are new to growing mushrooms like me, start off with the growing kits. The process is quite exciting, although you do need patience, but best of all, mushrooms are loaded with vitamins and promote a healthy immune system. They are delicious, fried, sauteed, baked, or broiled. Thank you for watching this series on Journey to Hydroponics. Bye-bye.